Hello again my quick mission Mahoney's. Welcome back to my quick mission tips. I want to do mission 99 next because of a request and a comment. Um, so as always this strategy is based on if you have lower health, um, if you aren't, don't have limits off, don't have DLC weapons, so just more of a safer strategy. And as always I'm also interested in your strategies, your favorite weapons and setups for this mission, so let me know in the comments below please. So we can have like a, like a conversation. So let's go ahead and get started. So. The biggest threat on this mission, believe it or not, in my opinion, is spiders. So I'll, if I was going to rank the the the, um, the, uh, the threats, it'd be spiders, then wasps, then ants, then cosmonauts. And the reason is because we have a bunch of Bobby Bargas on the field to help you out. And they are very important to keep them alive. And uh, Barga's weaknesses are spiders and wasps. They just absolutely destroy him so fast, as well as ants. So, if you can take care of those enemies for him, you can keep them alive, and then you can do a lot better on this mission. So we're going to pick weapons based on killing those type of enemies. So for Ranger class, um, I would say Ranger does struggle here. To, to beat this with Ranger only, or two Rangers, is pretty, pretty difficult, but it's not impossible. But anyway, what I would recommend is I would take your best uh, Emerald Missile Launcher, and then I would take an, a missile item, or per perhaps you could swap out the missile item for a brute helicopter to fire um, for some heavy damage for like cosmonauts and the big guys. But I, I do like the missile item if you have someone else that can take care of the big guys. And I and believe it or not, I might, my suggestion would be to take the D110 breacher shotgun or the D79, whatever one you have available to you, um, because you want something that you can attack the big guys, the uh, Arculuses, if they get near you. And believe it or not, the Breacher is amazing at keeping them off of you. If they get close to you, you shoot them a couple times, they'll get stunned, and they'll get pushed back. So that's why I like this particular weapon for this mission. Because ultimately, at the end, you're going to be heading to the Bargas that come in later anyway, so you have a vehicle for the end. But that, that's what I prefer for Ranger. For Wing Diver, believe it or not, I like the Mirage. Because like I said, remember, the Spiders and the Wasps are your biggest threat. So this weapon is amazing on the... Uh, on the wasps and spiders, and of course there's different, you know, just different level versions of them as well for lower difficulties. And then I, the second weapon I like is the Dragoon Lance, and the reason is if, the, if it, any of the big guys get close to you, if you have the 200% item and the Dragoon Lance, you will be able to stun lock them and knock them back and they'll have no chance hitting you, plus you can hit through multiple targets. So I take Dragoon Lance and then the Big Bang Core, because believe it or not, you don't need to be fast on this mission. You can stay by the NPCs the whole time. So that's what I prefer uh, for Wing Diver. For Air Raider, um, I like the Phobos because this is good on the, the spiders and the ants, the clusters, which I'll show you in the mission itself, so that's good for killing them. And then for the second weapon, I like something for the wasps, so I would probably recommend a KM-6, honestly. The KM-6 is pretty good, pretty cheap, you get it back quickly, and it's decent damage. So, taking one of those, and then for your third weapon, you want something also that kills wasps that come from behind you. So I would say Zexar guns are pretty good. You can put them by the NPCs, or you can also change that out for the 120. The 120 is actually pretty good on wasps because it's like a shotgun pattern. It comes down from the sky and it shoots pretty fast, decent reload time, so pretty good, pretty good weapon. So that'd be, that'd be something else you could select. And then of course, vehicle-wise, I always like to take the Barga. I think the Barga is very good here. You can have three of them out by the time things get really bad, and you can have that for the other teammates to get into until the, the, the best Bargas come in for you to, to join in. And then for Fencer, um, he's very good here as well. The high altitude missiles are good on the spiders, good on the wasps, so I take two sets of those. And then I would take something for um, being up front. Like if, if you're a Fencer, I'd probably recommend being up front lines and killing the spiders or ants that are up front if you don't have like an air raider to kill them with the Phobos. So if you're doing that, I prefer honestly the finest hammer and the dispersion mortar because you have damage reduction from the finest hammer. Plus it shoots how far, how, how many meters forward? 135 meters forward and it hits 2000 damage on all those enemies in front of you. So it's good for killing groups of enemies. And then the, the, the mortar also is good for killing groups as you, you know, jump up in the air. You can, and then, of course, a, your dash and boost item. However, if you want to change out and be a little safer, you can also do, like, as long as you have someone that can take care of the wasps for you, um, you can also go up front lines with a shield and a blast hole spear. So I do like this setup as well. So you take your best blast hole spear, you take your best uh, great shield here, and then you would take your twin spear, because the reason twin spear is so you can be mobile, and then the great shield as well. And then you would take 
two shield items. You would take the shield protection item, your best one of those, and your best barricade system. So that way you could be up front lines with the cosmonauts, with the ants and everything, and, and you can be pretty safe even with low health. I mean, and of course, if you need to be mobile to get some health or get away from the battle or move somewhere else, switch to your twin spear and just attack with it, and it'll pull you across the map very fast. So that's an also alternative. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the mission and show you how the mission goes. Alright, here we go. Let's get started here. So there are some NPCs at the beginning here you can grab if you want to. Um, usually if you're like going to be staying in the back, I would maybe grab some of these guys. But um, yeah, as, as you can see, all the, oh, all these bobbies, all these beautiful bobbies coming in. I want you to get to know each one of these and get to know their first names and last names and what they like and dislike because we're going to keep these guys alive. That is a priority. So right at the beginning, all there is is cosmonauts, um, some frogs, and uh, some Archelus. Archelus? Urgenus, excuse me, Urgenus up front here. Um, so you can you can help out if you have weapons to tack out some of the cosmonauts, but don't worry too much about the um, Urgenus. Those those guys aren't too much of a threat. You guys can uh, just kind of ignore them and just focus on the cosmonauts. But really, this beginning part is not a huge deal. You, if you don't have weapons to deal with the cosmonauts, you can kind of just stay back with the NPCs. So of course, as soon as if you're an air raider, as soon as you have a vehicle, make sure to throw them. And one, something very important is make sure you throw your Bargas behind the NPC's tanks and railguns because if you're not in the vehicle and you throw it in front of them, the railguns and EMCs will kill your Bargas. And that's why they'll be smoking. So kind of throw them a little bit further back behind the NPCs. And uh, of course you can grab some of these some of these fencers and the rangers if you want to as well. But pretty much just fight some of the cosmonauts, the, the colonists if you can. Just do, do what you can until the first phase comes in. Because the first phase is going to come in is going to be your left side. There will be some spiders and some, uh, co some uh, colonists. So that's something you want to take care of right away. If you have two people, have one person to take the left side and one person to take the right side. So let me go ahead and kill a few of these. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to kill a few of these while I'm waiting for the the spiders to come in. So here we go. So left side is going to be some spiders and some uh, some colonists. So have one person with the uh, weapons that can kill spiders. Just go forward and try and kill all these spiders because like I said, the spiders are going to be your biggest threat to killing the Bargas. We don't want to do that at all. We want to have all these dead. So um, of course I am playing this uh, with limits off just so I can show you quickly how to do this mission. But I have done this mission many times online with Inferno and these strategies work really well. So I'm just going to kill all the spiders that I can so that the Bargas don't get killed and then once uh, once these are dead either go to the right side now to kill the spiders if there's only one person take care of the spiders but preferably you have two people so now on the right side and and some in the front as well are going to be coming some spiders so we want to kill those as fast as possible and just try and keep your eye on the Bargas and make sure that they're they're uh, safe you don't have to worry about you know if some of these guys come behind you because that's fine you, you, your, your guys can take care of that the spiders are your biggest threat here. So there are some spiders, like I said, in the front. So let's kill some of these that are on the Bargas themselves. And there's going to be some on the right side. So you want to kill them before they get to the Bargas. You can leave the Cosmonauts. They're not a huge threat. The Bargas can take care of them. And they don't get damaged too much by them. Alright, so once you do this, once you kill all the spiders, then you can start working on some of the Cosmonauts. Um, if you have some time. But the next phase that's going to happen is... Um, right in front of you, at the very edge of the map, you're going to be having some more Urgenists coming in, and then a bunch of ants, and then two shield screens, and some big cosmonauts. So, the biggest the biggest threat in this will be the uh, ants. There's going to be a bunch of ants, so you want to kill them as fast as possible. Okay, so here we go. NPCs are behind me. This is where I spawn in, I'm looking straight ahead. Now you're going to have a bunch of Urgenists coming forward. Don't have to worry about them, really. And then behind those Urgenists, they're going to be some shield screens. Let me go ahead and kill some of these while I'm waiting. All right, here we go. Here they come in now. So, like I said, as soon as you have a Barga, throw another Barga. Make sure you have, you know, three Bargas out at all times. Try and have them full health, if possible. And, you you know, with Air Raider, he can just uh, throw in the Phobos plans on the spiders. Or he can throw the Phobos up front here. Because after these Urgenists come in, behind them... You'll see two shield screens walking on either side, and then a bunch of uh, big cosmonauts. So you don't want to worry about the big cosmonauts or the shield screens. Because it seems like, 
I'm, I'm not 100% on what pushes the next phase, but it seems to me like when you attack the big cosmonauts and kill them and kill the shield screens, that's when the tadpoles come in sooner. So you don't want to do them. You want to leave the shield screens and leave the big guys. Don't worry about them. Just have someone go up front. Like if you're a fencer, you have the finest hammer mortar. You can go up front here and kind of catch them before they get to the um, before they get to the bargas. Or if you're a wing diver and you don't have the mirage set up, you can also if you have somebody that can take care of the uh, the spiders for you, you can you can change out your mirage for a you know a uh, rocket launcher and just fly up front here and try and pull all these ants away from the the bargas and kill them really quickly. Or even just pull them away and, and attack them slowly, for, you know, on one side of the map or the other side. But you just want to make sure to catch these ants before they get to the bargas, because these things will destroy your bargas very quickly. So, like I said, don't touch the uh, shield screens and don't touch the big guys. Just leave them alone and just, just kill all the ants here. So I got all the ants killed here now. So now just go back with your bargas and just fight with them now, because the next phase is going to be coming in is a bunch of wasps. And the wasps are terrible on the Bargas, so you want to have, you know, your air raider ready with the KM6, or even if you have your Bargas behind the NPC tanks back here, you could always get into one of the Bargas and just meet the wasps before they get to the Bargas and kind of punch them. But the problem is there's going to be wasps coming from all sides, so you want to make sure to not just focus on the ones behind you, but also the ones on the left and right. So of course you can use your Zexar guns, put them up by these rail guns and EMCs or Bargas. You can also try and uh, put the KM6, you know, call them on one side or the other. You know, if you're fencer with the high altitude, you, you want to make sure to focus on the wasps as soon as they come in. Everyone focus on the wasps as soon as they come in. That is the most important threat. Okay, here we go. So we have some on the left, some on the right, and some behind us. So, you know, of course, me with, you know, the best wasp killer, in my opinion, is the Mirage. Especially with 200%. They just absolutely destroy wasps quickly. But, um, Make sure to have, you know, try and separate too. If you have two people on this map or three people, try and have each person grab a group of these wasps because you want to protect those Bargas. The longer those Bargas survive, the much easier it is this mission is going to be for the last phase. So now we're going to kill all these wasps here. Of course, it's fast for me because I'm playing offline with limits, but regardless, as long as you're focusing on them, you'll be fine. And then just try and, once you kill one of the groups, just head to the left or right and kill the help, help the other people kill the other groups of wasps. And uh, because, you know, these, these uh, Bargas can fight the Urgenists a very long time. And same with the Cosmonauts. They, they can last a very long time against them. Alright, so now that the wasps are dead, now you, you can go in and kill some of these. You can either fight some Urgenists, you can fight, you can probably kill the shield screens wouldn't hurt, you can try and kill some big guys. It wouldn't be a bad idea to focus on some of the uh, Cosmonauts, rather, because those are probably going to be the most damaged to your Vargas, honestly. Just whatever you want to kill at this point is not a huge deal, honestly, in my opinion. I'm just going to go ahead and go forward and kill the shield screens. Um, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do unless they're distracted by the Vargas, but... Alright, let me kill this one and this one. Alright, shield screens are down. Now I'll just fight with these until the next phase comes in. So the next thing you're going to be you're going to be focusing on is you're going to have some Arculus Arculus coming in, and you're going to have some laser cosmonauts, some some shotgun cosmonauts, a bunch of cosmonauts coming in, and then as well as tadpoles. So out of all that, I would say the priority is tadpoles and laser cosmonauts first, and then you can go and fight some of the bigger cosmonauts and the Ar and the uh, Urgenists. Okay, so now Arculus is coming in. I'm just going to help out with some of these big guys by the time. And of course, you know, there's so many items. You can always be, if you have those NPCs with you, you can try and heal them up a bit and just try and grab some healing items, stuff like that. But um, as long as you have Vargas, though, available, you're going to be fine because these Vargas can distract these, these, uh, these Arculuses. And then you can focus on the tadpoles, kill them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There's not, they're not terrible. There's no purple tadpoles, but um, still, they're they're kind of you know, kind of brutal to come in. So at the same time, we're also be having cosmonauts coming in here, dropping in as well. So let's uh, let's go ahead and focus on some of these. So as you can see on the left side, um, I'm not sure if there's more, but on the left side you're gonna see some. Uh, some laser cosmos coming in. So these are a threat too. So once you get rid of the, the tadpoles, or at least most of them, I mean not all of them, but most of them, then you can focus on those laser cosmonauts. 
try and help out the Vargas with them because now's your chance because they're going to be distracted by the Vargas. Um, so that now's your chance to actually help out and kill some of those laser cosmonauts. But at this point, you might you, you should have some NPCs alive still. You should have some some Vargas alive still. So help out the Vargas, and uh, you're going to have more Vargas coming in too. Once enough of these die, so I'm just going to focus on these laser cosmonauts because these things are a threat, of course, and kill them as best I can, or at least damage them. You could always take a Barga if you're an air raider and, and try and meet them a, a little bit out there and try and attack them up front, kill them. But uh, these definitely are our focus because they, they tear you up pretty quickly. Then you see sometimes Bargas will just be by themselves trying to punch one enemy way off to the side. So you might want to help them just to get them back into the fight. But uh, you will get some more Barga help, so here we go. Another Barga unit is coming in. But you know, as long as you're mindful of keeping the Bargas alive that you do have as best as you can with the biggest threats, the laser guys, the wasps, the spiders, ants, cosmonauts, you know, don't worry about the Arculuses or Urgenuses. As long as you keep them alive and, and try and, you know, protect them a little bit, you'll find it a lot easier in this mission for sure. So I'm going to kill some of these colonists. But we should get some, uh, some Barga help coming in here. I'm not sure if it's based on how many Bargas are damaged. I believe it's based on how many are left. I'm not sure 100% on that, but you will get some more help. So here we go. Here's, and then once you, and then eventually once you see these these bargas, the bargas that you can drive dropped in, you want to make sure you are near them and and able to get into them as quick as possible. They're going to spawn right in front of your NPCs where they originally came out at. But as soon as they drop these bargas, you can get into. Make sure you get into them because they're going to be dropping a whole bunch of cosmonauts behind you. So just get into the barga and turn around. And you'll see, um, I want to say there's four ships of large cosmonauts coming in behind you. And each of them have like six to eight cosmonauts. So they expect you to use these Bargas to kill them because there's no way. Alright, I had to switch to Hardest to actually get this to happen for the big guys to come behind you. But as soon as they drop in the Barga, you're going to have uh, cosmonauts drop in behind you. So as soon as you get into the Barga, you want to turn around 180 degrees and fight these big cosmonauts behind you, because if you don't do it with the Barga, it's going to be terrible later. So, as you can see, there's so many of them. Absolutely ridiculous, but the Barga is so strong, this particular Barga is so strong, um, it doesn't matter. You can just one-shot them almost. Maybe maybe two, I think it's one, though. I am, I am playing online by myself on Hardest, though, so I have less help than I normally would. But normally you have enough time to turn around and fight these guys with the Barga. But even if you have an Arculus on you, just try and focus on killing the um, the Cosmonauts first because that is most priority. You can always um, survive the uh, Arculuses and the Urgenuses, but these guys will destroy you. So they'll, they'll cluster around you though, which is nice because it's right next to the Barga, so you could just hopefully kill them fast enough. And then if you need to desert the Barga and then just run away and fight the uh, Arculuses, then you may have to do that. But just the main point I want to show is get into the Bargas they drop and turn around instantly and destroy as many of these guys as you can. And then focus on the Arculuses. And then that's it. That's the end of the mission. Once you kill all these enemies on the map, then it's over. So then you can collect items and all that. So, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much this mission. So... Um, everyone can, gets a chance to eat. so if you have four people in the room, you get four bargas, which is nice, so that's nice. You can, everyone can get a hold of these and, and uh, help out with the, with the cosmonauts and then uh, finish off the mission. So, But yeah, if you do need to kite these guys around, if you like, say you are the last person, the nice thing is this is a huge map, so you can actually circle around and use your, your high altitude missiles or whatever um, class. I mean, unfortunately, you only could do this with Wing Diver or Fencer, kite them around. But I mean, I guess Ranger could as well, but it'd be very tough for him. But yeah, so, so yeah, that'll be this mission. Um, I hope these tips helped you. Like I said, if you have any tips yourself, please include them in the comments below. And uh, as always, um, remember, even if you leave a man behind, ever. And if you give this uh, video a thumbs up, if you liked it, I appreciate it very much. And also, if you're interested in ways to support the channel financially, there's uh, the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. There's three different tiers. Or watching a few ads helps financially as well, and I very much appreciate it. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.